Now your setup may be a little different than mine, but I thought I'd share with you with what I've got here, okay? So I've got a, a 1500 uh, truck here, it's basically a half ton, and I've got a six foot bed, okay? That gives me plenty of room to store a lot of stuff. I mean, a longer bed would be better, but you know, hey. All right, and then back here, I've got an IBC tank. Now this holds about 270 some odd gallons, but I don't wanna overload the truck, so I'll only really fill it up with about maybe, two, basically about 150 to 175 gallons, so I'm not overweighting it. And that will last me, gosh, through a weekend with no problem. So, and I also got a, uh, hose here that's uh, 50 feet long so it gets me down to the dig site where the wash plant is and on here is a control valve so I can control how much water flow that's going into the tubs and stuff especially when I'm processing material and also I've got a uh, 2000 watt generator over here in the corner and that puts out a continuous 1600 watts and the wash plant itself only pulls about 900 so we're definitely under that limit so which is great and then I also have a 12 gauge power cord too that's got three wires on it obviously one is a ground and that goes down to the wash plant it's 50 feet long just like the just like the hose to enough to reach down there our tubs are filling up with water so we can go ahead and hook up our electrical so this is the power cord that came from the uh the generator so i'm just going to just plug this in fits really snug so we gotta get in there really tight don't want to have too much of a gap and then this is our power cord that goes to the pump so we're going to plug it in right here now let me explain to you the controls that we have the first control up here runs the dewatering deck. So we can turn that on. Obviously, it's not running right now. And that starts the two motors down here and gets the deck vibrating. The other one is the shaker deck. So this is the upper shaker deck here. And then this turns on the pump. So basically, when you go to set up and operate, you want to have the uh, you want to start the dewatering deck first. OK, turn on the shaker deck and then finally your water is the last one. OK. And then when you go to shut her down, you just do the opposite. So you're going to turn this off first, second, and third. 